Gloucester Harbor is pretty and gritty at the same time, center of the city's fishing community. It's also ground zero for the push to keep the port a working waterfront and a hub of economic activity and jobs. Gloucester has always been transitioning. We have to play with the cards that we're dealt and we always find a way to continue our working waterfront. It's changed shapes over the years, but it's definitely hung true to who we are deep down inside. Anne Malloy and her family have played a major part in the evolution of Gloucester Harbor. Malloy's grandfather started in the 1920s with the Progressive Fish Company. The banker said to him, wow, Leo, you're very progressive buying a fish company during the Depression. And so he named it Progressive Fish Company. He also started selling oil to the fishing boats. And he realized he was making more money selling oil to the fishing boats than fish. So he decided to go into the home heating oil business. That's when Malloy's father and uncle bought the operation and changed the name to Ocean Crest Seafood in 1965. Ocean Crest unloads the fishing boats, fillets the fish, and sells the fillets to all the local restaurants. In the 80s, the family inadvertently ended up in the fertilizer business. My father said, you know, we're only selling 30 to 40 percent. 60 to 70 percent of the fish is left over after you fillet it. Maybe if we utilize 100 percent of the fish, we can keep everybody in the family and our employees in business. And so we got together with the University of Massachusetts Marine Station and they helped us develop a process to turn all the fish remains into fertilizer. And Neptune's harvest was born on Gloucester's waterfront. The organic fertilizer is sold to farms and home gardeners worldwide. It's growing immensely. We can't keep up. It's, it's hard to get enough gurry to make enough fertilizer to keep up with the demand. Is further progress on the horizon? We want to double our production. I'm talking about making a bait. The lobstermen are having a hard time getting enough bait these days. You have to have ambition and ingenuity. And I always like to say it takes guts to make Neptune's harvest. Because it did. It took a lot of guts for him to spend that money and, and expand into something that was an unknown at the time. Nearby, innovation is a core quality of GMGI, a marine research institute. The mission of the institution is really one of economic development. It's to build a state-of-the-art, cutting-edge marine biotechnology institute, which provides new economic opportunities to the region, but at the same time to build on 400 years of maritime history and to bring new cutting-edge genomic technologies to the ocean for new discovery. Scientists here are working to unlock the secret to the longevity of sea urchins, some of which live past 200 years without showing signs of aging and with very few cases of cancer. We're hoping that they can provide information about pathways to keep cells and tissues healthy so that we can perhaps point us in the direction of preventative or therapeutic strategies for age-related degenerative diseases. Training the next generation of marine scientists, especially local ones, is part of GMGI's mission through their Biotechnology Academy. The Academy is a nine-month vocational training program. It's geared towards high school graduates. Our high school graduates are anywhere from 18 to 26 years of age. The first six months of that program, the students learn the technical and career skills. Uh, that they need to be successful in uh, an industry lab. If they successfully complete that first six months, the final three months of the program, they're invited to partake in a paid internship with a local biotech company. Well, we're using human hemoglobin because it should have LDH in it. Recent Academy graduate Brittany Nielsen landed a full-time job as a lab technician at Synlogic, a Cambridge biotech company. I work in operations, so I keep the lab running. I make solutions, medias, and restock the lab and help scientists with their experiments. Nielsen credits the Academy for steering her in the right direction after graduating from Gloucester High School. When I went to high school, I didn't really take many science courses. I figured I'd give this program a shot and the first week I was like, this is interesting and I want to know more. She now hopes to pursue a bachelor's degree in biology and move up the ranks at her current company. You could do anything as long as you're motivated and you want to better yourself. This is the program to do it. They focus on you. They focus on helping you grow, not only as a lab technician, but as a person. 
GMGI tells us that more than 80% of the academy graduates from the class of 2019 are now in full-time jobs, extended internships, or in college studying science. And the class of 2020 is set to begin on September 3rd. Now back to Neptune's Harvest, they say the fertilizer works on everything from flower to vegetable gardens. You can buy it online and at local garden centers. Next, the need for affordable housing and their daily bread.